Okay, question eight. We want to determine if how many solutions we have to the system of equations. And remember, there's three possible answers. We could have one solution if the lines intersect. We could have zero solutions if the lines are parallel. Or we could have infinite if the lines are the same. So to solve, we can do it either algebraically or graphically. To do it graphically, we would have to get both equations into y equals um, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go ahead and take this first equation and just subtract the 5y from both sides. So I'm going to be solving this algebraically. x plus 5y equals 4. If I subtract the 5y from both sides, I will have x is equal to negative 5y plus 4. I'm then going to substitute that back in to my second equation. So I will have 3 times negative 5y plus 4 plus 15y equals negative 1. Almost off the page there. We distribute the 3 now to the negative 5 and the 4. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15y and 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 15y equals negative 1. Combining my like terms, I have negative 15y plus 15y. So that's 0 plus 12. So 12 equals negative 1? No. These do not equal each other, so this means there is no solution. If I had gone through and solved these equations or put them into slope-intercept form, I would have found they had the exact same slope. Thus, they are parallel.